Hello guys, Shinfisk here and yet with another plane video. Today we're gonna take a closer look at a trench loadout for the fighter plane which I obviously haven't put much time on. Some of you guys will ask yourself, didn't Shinfisk tell us the bomber kill loadout was the best? Well, yes I did, but I probably had less than 2 to 3 hours testing out every loadout and I wanna apologize in advance for not really testing each loadout to the fullest before I stated that the bomber kill was the best because right now I actually take that back. Before we get into why I regret saying the bomber killer is the best, let's get into some facts about the trench loadout and why this is my priority loadout for the fighter plane. As you can see to the right, we have the info about the trench loadout. Nose cannon is equipped with two heavy machine guns, just like the dogfight loadout. One machine gun bullet round does around 18% damage towards an infantry. And with a well trained aim, you can actually kill at least one infantry per strafe. Don't think you can just go into a server and perform because it took me quite a while to figure out both the trench aim and the nose cannon. The nose cannon feels better when it comes to bullet accuracy than any other loadout. Seems like the cannon is more friendly and easier to hit every bullet on the target. A tip when you want to begin your strafe towards an enemy infantry, slow down while you shoot as you can see on the top left. Hold down S or whatever button you use. This will make the shaking disappear and you will have much easier time hitting your target. I also suggest make rudder movements to adjust your aim. Rudder is default on A and D. Go in an empty server to get a view of what I'm talking about. This allows you to aim left and right in a more accurate way. Everything I tell you needs practice and you will get better over time. The good pilot is the ones who doesn't quit. If, it does, if you don't kill the enemy infantry it doesn't really matter because the nose cannon isn't the beauty of the trench loadout. It's the explosive dart you have to finish your strafe with. Here's an introduction, enjoy! Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you the new mid-air bomb montage sick, amazing, awesome... Weapon, the explosive darts. This bad boys replaces bomber killer loadout in almost every aspect in the game. First, it one shot attack plane. Two, it one shots fighter plane. Three, it fucking one shots bomber plane if you hit the majority of the darts. And four, it one shot infantries. But number five, the bomber killer is better versus armor, even though. It's really bad versus armor, you know what I mean? You can of course miss the majority of the dodge, which leads to you probably just damage a wing or two, but if you make the perfect hit, you are awarded with one shot, one kill, which is really satisfying. Now for a quick tutorial when you gotta drop them in order to get all the darts on the target. The dart actually releases in an angle so they push forward while dropping, instead of bombs which drops instantly. Because of this, you need to drop them before you're actually over your target. Let me show you when I take out the AA and you see that I drop them before I'm on, on top of the anti-air. Now when you see that I approach the anti-air, I switch to my darts and we stop right here. You see that I dropped my darts at this exact moment. If you look close where the arrow points, you can see my darts and I'm not even close to the anti-air. My point is that the darts will shoot out instead of drop. Let's forward the clip a bit. There you go, a direct hit to the target and this is probably the thing pilots struggle with the most. The timing with the explosives. Let's give a mid-air dart hit in slow motion view so you can see when I drop them and where the enemy is at that time. Whenever I want to make a mid-air kill you should always dive your target which higher the chance of you being undetected and also just drop the darts on top of your opponent. As you can see on this image, I'm not quite on top of my opponent but fairly behind him. 
Exactly like I said when I dropped them on the anti-air, you gotta drop them before you or over your enemy for a perfect body hit and one shot one kill. Conclusion to this video is that the trench loader is much better in every way versus the bomber killer. It's even better at taking out bombers. I recommend you go in game, practice the aim with the darts and you will eventually go 30 plus skill scores in no time. This is your pilot Shunfisk, leave a like and a comment and don't forget to follow me on Twitch for live commentary and gameplay and I'll catch you next time, peace.